What's going on YouTube? Well, not really sure how to introduce myself because this is not on my usual channel. If it were on my usual channel, you'd be hearing what's going on Mega Crew. This is the Lucaria Knight bringing you a video. But anyway, this isn't where we are. But basically, I'm going to try my best to not awkwardly describe what's going on now. Essentially, what has gone on recently other than life that has not really enabled me the best opportunity to record and upload to my main channel. I have been in contact with a couple friends who have actually taken an interest in a collaborative channel, so that's where a lot of you are going to be seeing me most of the time, if not all the time now. I mean, I might still upload to my main channel, but I really want to help contribute to this. Anyways. For those of you who follow my main channel, and I'm hopefully hopefully that'll be good. Anyway, you guys who follow my main channel, I'm sure you all know Bradley, Days Delusion, Running on XYZ, The Gladenator. Uh, I I think that's all of his aliases. Anyway. <laughs> You guys know him from my channel, and maybe some of you know him from his own channel as well. Um, he and our mutual friend Austin, uh, we're going to be working on basically this collaborative channel that we've all decided to uh, pitch in on. So hopefully it's going it, to, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, my commentary, Rust, is really shining through to me at least. Uh, but I'm going to try my best not to trip over my words, because it's been a while. Anyway, this is going to be my first contribution to this channel. I'm going to start a Let's Play in the sequel to Paper Mario, which is none other than Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So we're going to get started. Hopefully the disc will uh, continue to be read. I forgot my memory card. Well, um... That's awkward. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back um, with memory card in tow. So maybe we'll be able to get started. I guess we'll find out. So we're just gonna go on. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and use my name. I'm probably not going to be referring to myself as the Lucaria Knight because this is not going to be, well, I mean, clearly this is not just a Pokemon-based channel. Um, so, I mean, I think the other guys are going to be using their first names as well to introduce themselves. Because, I mean, we may as well. I mean, when we collaborate, we're going to be calling each other as such, so. I don't know, we're still working out some of the bumps, but we may as well get started. Mail call. Anyway, um, I'm kind of trying to think of a, some more ways to explain kind of what's going to be going on. I mean, the three of us will be collaborating every now and then uh, when we can manage to get together when our schedules allow. Um, anyway, um, I don't know how much uh, reading the dialogue I'm going to do. Um, because this is going to be, since it's this little, wow, I'm not, I'm not talking right. Anyway, because this is going to be a collaborative channel, we'll try and get together every now and then, and we'll try and record together. Um, we're also going to be uploading to this channel individually, so you guys can see, uh, you know, our individual characters, as well as how uh, we uh, seem to thrive in a group, I guess you could say, but uh, I'm hoping it'll entertain you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what their individual plans for the channel are. I don't really know what my individual plans for the channel are. I was going to do a PS4 Let's Play on my own, but to be honest, I felt like blowing the dust off my GameCube, and I got the Thousand Years Door a while ago. Unfortunately, I didn't have it when I was a young boy with a GameCube. Um, 
so this is honestly my first like playthrough of it. I've never beaten this game. I've played through Paper Mario 1 more times than I can count on my hands. So we're just going to be getting into the prologue here. A rogue's welcome. Uh, my plans for the channel, I mean, other than just collaborating with the other guys, I'm going to be doing uh, my own LPs. I'm going to be doing some of my own miscellaneous uh, videos. Uh, every now and then you'll get from us just some just some off-the-record uh, little bits and pieces. Uh, you guys may have seen um, our little, uh, I think it was like, Probably it must have been no longer than two minutes. It was just a little clip from an Overwatch moment that Austin and I had long before we even had any plans of having a collaborative channel. It was actually one of those moments that kind of spawned the idea, but who knows? We'll probably have more of those for you. We have a bunch of stuff we'd like to record for you. Well, rather, a bunch of stuff we're able to record for you. I don't know, I'm not going to speak for them, but I know that they want to do stuff for the channel, so I'll vouch for them. But anyway, we're going to get started out here, we're in Rogueport. I'm going to save because you never know when the disc is going to crap out on me because I got my copy of the game off Amazon forever ago, so it was... I mean, I didn't scratch it up, but the disc isn't in the most pristine condition, but beggars can't be choosers. So we got a little commotion here, over by the port. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Anyway. We're just gonna intervene here. Like it'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Huh, not likely. Whoa. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb So... I'm sure this uh, antagonist is not very competent, seeing as they're after basically a clone of Goombario from Paper Mario 1, and for anyone who, well, knows, oh, I missed my action command, I am really rusty, okay, I am really, really rusty, anyway, um, <laughs> any, anybody who's after a clone of Goombario, they're really not asking for a whole lot then clearly or they're expecting too much I don't know which but Goombario was to be fair not that useful also if you guys uh, comment down below and ask for explanations I'll give explanations of anything that goes on in this video down there um, I just don't I don't want to fill the video with a whole bunch of explanations because I don't know if you guys really need or care to know it but if you guys want to know like how the battle system goes and whatnot, I'll try my best to explain it. I don't know quite all the mechanics of this game because, like I've said, I haven't played through it. Okay, so we're just going to ditch these bunches of idiots. Stop! I didn't feel like yelling that and drawing it out because I know how some people like to watch YouTube videos with their headphones on. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson. Did you see them? Anyone? Are they all named Johnson? I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> uh, crud, they bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. Oh, that's... that's weird. Okay, my name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? 
Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't some if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for a legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got there? Oh my gosh, is isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great, great hoogly boogly <laughs> if it isn't Master Mario. And it's Toadsworth. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in, in this sort of place, hmm? So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched, wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. She told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is, hmm? Mm. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. Surely, yes. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I don't know why I didn't start out using that voice. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if your heart points running low. Just drop on in. Oh, yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Oh, I see. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Yeah, we got the Goombario clone. Gumbel's abilities. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. So she'll tell you about a location you're in. A whole bunch of other stuff. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. Like I said. Uh, when you are right next to a character and you're ready to talk to them, um, you can hit X again, they'll tell you about that person. Press X when there's somebody- okay, I, I guess I'll just let Goombella do the explaining then. So, we have to go to her professor, we have to talk to him. Um, I guess I'll just, well, actually, I probably shouldn't save in case uh, something goes wrong. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You said, <sighs> shut up. No, I'm not doing that, I'm recording. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Well, shit. That is so lame. Oh, I hate this town. Anyway. Um, maybe he's in here? Yep. There he is. Oh, hi, there you are. Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? 
Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh... I've seen your face before, yes, that face. Wait for it, just a moment, don't tell me now. Silence, I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Er, it's not Elizagoom. Um, um. Aha, I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir. That's me, I'm Goombella, a junior at you, Goom. Go Goombas! Yeah, right. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario. Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. Why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate you with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Okay. Indeed the same, as the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door, then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct. And the thousand year door is supposedly here deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost if only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? How many, how many, how many? Okay. <laughs> you, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great. Fantastic. One for... <laughs> wonderful, even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly. What are we doing just sitting here, then? Goombella. Mario. Off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, go and do that. Not sure how long I'm going to make these episodes, kind of, we haven't really gotten to a great place to uh, cut off here. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> oh, okay. We can use this pipe to get down onto the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, do you? Don't you? Do you? Don't you? Yeah, we know them. Really, a master are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe. No. If I don't get the hang of them all, I'll die for your amusement. Uh, I guess we'll just... I uh, don't want to talk to you now. Okay. Well, we have our hammer. Obviously. There was an option in the first fight. Okay. So, I'm guessing we go this way. Oh, hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's that hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang up, hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the, sk the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, I'll jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. 
Paragoom is airborne, so your hammer, will, your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack, you can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. I am really stumbling over my words today. Hopefully it'll get better at some point. So now, I will go ahead and attack him. Oh, there are also stylish timings. Um, I guess these add... These these have something to do with the audience that will gather at the bottom of... Well, at the foot of the stage there. I don't really know a whole lot about it. We just got put to sleep. I don't know if there was an action command for that, but... Um, oh well. I guess we'll just finish this one off. I don't know all the stylish timings because, like, like I said, um, I, I, I haven't played this, so I'm going to try not to say that all the time because I'm sure it'll become readily apparent to you guys soon enough that I have not played through this. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Alright, carrying on now. Uh, are we able to go over here? It's over here. Anything? There's a pipe. Well, there's something. So I know the hammer, I, I know the hammer stylish, because it's pretty simple. Um, I I think I know a few more from other Let's Plays I've seen. I don't have a great memory of this game though, ever, like, since. So, I mean, I guess I'll just trial and error it. First consumable item. We're just gonna take this guy out now. If I'm not mistaken, oh, I gotta. Oh wait, duh. I used the hammer. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm pretty sure through this area, if you just get a first strike, you can probably just not take any damage as long as you can finish him off. Uh, what's over here actually? Before we go down that pipe. Oh, okay, we can't do anything about that right now. So I guess we'll just carry on downward. Got a switch here we can hit. I really like the uh, little effects here in this game. They had some similar things in the first Paper Mario where, like, say you hit a bridge and... Or you, yeah, you hit a bridge and a switch will unfold. You hit a switch and a bridge will unfold. Whoa! Hey you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking in this locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here along ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings you what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Or Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Searching for the crystal stars are you now. So you really are a hero. Well you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, for the sake of progression, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get the key. So, um, we're going to get the key. 
Oh wow, we got the key. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Carrying on. Think nothing. <laughs> Fools. Oh no, in the box there's a scary backdrop. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you gonna? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buggly Wuggly Woo, you're cursed. Wee hee hee hee. Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee, trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee hee hee hee. Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I, I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay. You're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So, be honest, isn't, the, the, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? I zoned out. What was that? Yes, it's so frightening you lost control of your brain. Listen once more. Oh. Okay. Well, apparently, uh. That's just the, your way of saying, oh, please explain again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I get it. It's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee. Well, that was swell. So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? I mean, I can at least appreciate the Goomba that uses the term beef for problem with somebody. So, we're just gonna try this out right here. We're just gonna terribly uh, tilt left and right to uh, control ourselves. We're gonna carry on through this door. And we get brought to this really wide open ruins area. Deep underground. Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that! It's the thousand year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. At first, I just want to kind of take a look through the area, see if there's anything hidden. There's probably not because this is going to be a uh, well revisited area. We have a save block here. But anyway, we're gonna get closer, like, uh, oh, okay, this is as close as we're gonna get, apparently. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Well, we're gonna get on the pedestal, we're gonna give a big speech. Not really. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? <laughs> I like how he just ignores her completely. Like he would know, he thought the frickin' thing was a legend. Alright, so the door is now going to reveal our first targeted crystal star. It's going to be over in this castle back here. Well, rather, back there. Um, so, I guess that's just going to be where we're going to be headed. I don't really know a better way to say it. Maybe less awkwardly or less wordy. Oh well. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. But we didn't get a crystal star. Why did we get a special move? Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. In that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah! Aha, I see. Yep, 
You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? I guess I will. Just so we make sure we have the hang of it. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. We didn't even get to the door. What do you mean? Okay. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Alright, repeatedly tilt left to shoot hearts and flowers. Now, the idea of this one is you want to hit the uh, regular colored ones. You don't want to hit left constantly or too wildly because there will be uh, poison mushrooms that you can hit and if you hit those you will be stunned like so. But anyway, it'll keep track of, you know, which ones you hit, how many, and how many points you're going to be getting back. So it's a pretty useful ability as long as you can time it well. Since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Yes, it is. It is empty. I... <laughs> okay. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. Where the hell did y'all come from? <laughs> if you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario Goombella, try to attack me, please. <laughs> what do you mean, try? We're gonna kill you, man. Alright, so we get some star power from that. Nice! See that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. I believe you excite the crowd more when you get a stylish... Yeah, it looks like it. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch your fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of numbers in this audience. That's the uh, number in the bottom left here. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Okay, so... When you get... I believe it's when you get... Oh, okay, well he's just gonna explain it so I don't even have to like pull information out of my ass. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try. Basically you get this slot machine. This is like pretty much guaranteed to give you a uh... A sh triple shine sprite just cause it's scripted as such. Um, you'll get more audience and I think you'll get another buff. Uh, when you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so please be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all this. Well, I have it recorded on video, so I can always just go back and check. Great Goomba's ghost. Mario, look at your audience. Does that guy have a hammer? He does, the bum. He means to toss it at you. If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. <laughs> and they scream like little girls. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff, like coins. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. And granted, on this channel we may use uh, some rowdy language. Um, we, well, it's kind of, it's kind of just the way we are. So, we're, I, I mean, obviously we're going to try not to spout out at the mouth, swearing like a sail sailor left and right, but just know it's going to, it's going to happen. <laughs> Let's have a look at what. Let's let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the. Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions and now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? 
Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the Crystal Stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Huh. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you, g you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old goomba like me can handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Okay. So, with that... Oh, sorry, we've been interrupted. Wait just a moment. Okay, we get a Power Smash badge. Sweet. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No, I know how to do that. Okay, anyway, I'm going to equip that badge, and I think we're going to cut this video off because we've been going for over half an hour now, and I don't want to keep you guys too busy. Well, not too busy, but I don't want you guys to be like caught watching a video or... I don't want people to drop off, so I'm going to try and keep them kind of at a happy medium. I don't want them to be too short, but with a very story-driven game like this, there may not be uh, the best spots to stop, but right now is a pretty good point, so we're going to call it uh, an end to this video. Anyway, guys, here's your first, uh, you know, like, live commentated, um... Your first live commentated video here on Carnage Gaming, our new collaborative channel. It sounds really fucking cool to say that. But anyway, guys, I or one of the other two will catch you next time. Um, this Let's Play will be continued by me, as I'm the one who started it. Accidentally nudged my controller there. But anyway, um, Bradley and Austin will likely upload at some point soon. So... I hope you'll look forward to them. I will be uploading pretty often to this channel, so I can't wait to continue this Let's Play. This is a game I've been wanting to play through for you guys for quite some time. But anyway guys, if you like the video, go ahead and do us all a favor and just hit that thumbs up for us. Subscribe if you want to see more from us. I can almost promise there will be something on this channel for you. So, well, I guess we'll... I'll see what this channel has in store for us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.